in today's video, I'm talking about how it's all vanity. A lot of women don't know how to spot out their own vanity and they move in vanity as if it is actually how they look. A lot of men fall into snares because they cannot spot a very vain woman. They can't discern her. Let's talk about it. Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, the word says beauty is vain. Charm is deceitful. Beauty in itself will not have good works, will not have good deeds. Beauty in itself is dead, vain, worthless. The charm, you got to think what the Most High Yah coupled with that beauty is vain. Charm is deceitful. A lot of women cannot see their own vanity. They cannot see how they try to charm men with that vanity, with that, what they call beauty, you know, with what they call beauty. And a lot of men fall into, you know, snares dealing with women like this. And when we look at some of the biblical women that women should not strive to be, you know, Delilah was very deceptive. Jezebel was very vain and deceptive. When she was about to face judgment, what did she do? She put on makeup to dis give her a disguise. That way nobody would, nobody would, uh, you know, think it was her. Man, I'm gonna post a clip in here of a woman that in her mind, this is how she looks. And I promise you, you know, with three baby wipes or a wet, you know, face rag, this woman would humble herself. And this is where the deceit is. I'm gonna post a clip and let you hear this woman as she is hustling vanity and beauty. And she's gonna say some things in here that's gonna expose herself a man that a man that has discernment can realize that's not her natural beauty. She's talking as if it is. It's not until you get with a woman like this, the real her is gonna come out when she wipes all this stuff off her head, take this this weaves and wigs off. You know, this woman has a this is probably uh not her uh skin complexion. You gotta look at uh one of the Serena sisters wearing makeup three and four shades lighter than her. For what reason? It's all vanity, all worthless. Won't you understand, man? There's a reason this woman got up in front of the camera looking like this. Somebody will fall for it. There's a man out there that say, oh man, she's a beautiful woman. I'm not saying this woman is ugly, but that's not who she is. That's not who she is. And Women are very good at changing their disguise. Like you gotta think for criminals, a man is not good at changing his disguise because you don't have a lot of practice at it. A woman is very good at changing her disguise because they got a lot of practice at it. Men out here, you have to, you let your don't let stuff that you cannot see through lure you in. Don't let stuff that you cannot discern bait you in. See, this woman is talking like the way she looks. She said there's two types of beauty. That's not a natural beauty. That's a that's an enhanced, that is a fabricated type of beauty. It is even more vain. Beauty in itself, the natural beauty of a woman. That's what a word says, beauty is vain. Natural beauty itself is worth it. What good deed does natural beauty do? 
or fulfill? Ask yourself that. That's why beauty is vain. Shouldn't be so focused on it. And if you are a very lustful man, this woman will let you know. Hey, you, you ain't gonna have no problem, you know, doing whatever I want you to do because of how I look. She ain't selling help me. She's selling worthless. Listen to what I'm saying. She's not selling or hustling help me. She's selling worthless. She's selling vanity. And a lot of women out here hustle vanity. The older they get, for some of them, it gets worse. Roll that footage. I feel like there are different types of pretty in dating. And neither one is more or less pretty than the other. But they attract two very, very different energies when it comes to types of men. And I really don't know how to explain what I'm about to say. Because on one end, you have the type of pretty where men naturally want to give these girls things. They want to make their life easier. They want to gift them. They want to impress them. And when those type of pretty girls ask for things, there is no pushback. It's just an understanding that if I want to be in her graces, I need to do this. Then you have my category, and I hate them in this category, where it's like something in our energy triggers men and makes them, they have this itching desire to humble us. Because they just feel like you've just, people probably always give you this or that. 